Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a tool, a scary tool in a way, which I believe will uh, hit developers for the first time because I've also been using it for a while. It's not perfect, it's not there yet, but it's close, right? So let's take a look at why you should be worried about ChatGPT, which is another drop from OpenAI, the company which has been frontier for building AI tools, GPT-3, DALI for image generation, and now ChatGPT-3, which is like a, you know, a chatbot, almost like, you know, you talking to an AI, which can do pretty much all sorts of auto completions and code explanations and general things explanations as well if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of course and helps the channel grow so you see you can almost talk to this bot if you go to this release blog you can almost talk to this bot that this code is not working how do i fix it and it'll tell you it'll just say if it needs more information it'll say if the code is not buggy it'll say if the code is buggy it'll tell you with alongside a fix now this is not perfect because i just tried it on my phone with you know find a bug with the code which is like a perfectly valid code snippet and it's still potentially reported a bug but i've not been able to reproduce this on my system right so this happened once but it was not happening again so i'm not sure like if this was a hiccup or anything because obviously this code is right which i also show in subsequent screenshots but when i got time to actually try it a little bit more from the desktop i figured out that it's it's pretty solid right because i gave it a few things like finding a bug with this code whereas there is no bug as such in this code but it correctly reported that hey you're probably trying to use const and you're also trying to mutate the value you might want to freeze the object so this is like you know this is almost like someone which a human will report hey are you use, trying to use const yes but you're also trying to mutate the property maybe you actually want to freeze the object similarly when i try it with something like this where i try to mutate a const variable it correctly shows me that const cannot be used for that you need let or something like that and of course i was not able to reproduce this as such but this existed when i tried it on my phone so that is why i'm saying like this can't be like 100 percent trusted right now as of now but it's pretty darn close right because anything i've tried like almost like 10 prompts with it so far and all of them have been successful so let's try another issue with this let's see if chat gpt is able to find out a bug or a security loophole with this code so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a function that updates a div which has let's say content and the id right so what we're going to say is document dot get element element by id id dot inner html is content right and i'm going to say updates a div let's say hello world and um let's say this is for test purpose hello and then secondly i would say input is prompt into your input and then finally i'm going to say updates a div as input and then second div let's say so the problem with this code obviously there are a couple of problems the first bug is that you don't actually test if this div exists in the first place or not the second problem with this is that you are using inner html so this is susceptible to cross-site scripting attacks you know content injections so let's see how much of it this tool catches if any i'm gonna give it a go and let's see what happens so you see it did a pretty good darn job of you know just detecting that we are passing prompt we are using prompt and we are passing it as an input and you know we need to escape it we need to encode uri it whatever i mean like obviously this might not be the best thing but it gets pretty close right you have to escape your input you have to just sanitize it somehow and even if a noob or a junior developer gets this information this is like more than enough for them to secure their code right so i can ask is there any bug with this code okay so i think it got disconnected with the previous context that's that's fair but you understand like this is this is serious stuff right this is serious stuff which is going on i'm not sure like if any code exists on the internet which does something like this i mean sure it would but it's most likely understanding the context of things here as well right so yeah i mean this this part scares me a bit you know a little bit not a lot but yep this is this is the beginning of the end of developers in a way if i can say i don't know how long this road is i don't know how much time it will take but this at least will remove the ability to have let's say some sort of junior developer who's just you know taking a peek at the code all the time seeing you know if there is anything which can be improved which can be fixed and so on one you just paste your whole file or even i don't know like once once this gets mature your whole project into it and let ai analyze what's going on in your project and it'll report a bunch of problems with potential fixes it's about that also this is awesome right this is awesome from a productivity perspective but this is 
very scary from a developer perspective because this might just be the future which we are heading towards and this might just be what it is the future right except for a few things like this which will happen once and now so you can't just trust them blindly as well you need someone to just review what this is doing but of course like in most of the cases it will come very close so yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you are also scared as much as i am with this new chat gpt tool let's see where this goes i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching